Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and I am in a hotel okay. room, hotel room in Peoria, Illinois, and not the Mayhem okay. Studio. Uh, we're doing this on the Google Hangout. We are um, doing uh, just the digital way this 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 week. So uh, we have that going on. With me is uh, from Poughkeepsie, New York. Although I just saw him in person just a couple of days ago in New York City for Chachi Takes Manhattan. Check the hashtag, Mad Mike Sorg. Um, it, it's it's nice to see you in the digital form again. It was even nicer to see you in person when you uh, cashed in on your bet. <laughs> And I am now, I, I still haven't checked to see how much this is in American currency, but I'm going to assume it's enough to buy myself a Slammy Award. Yes, that's 20 Thai bot from my uh, excursion with Chess Flex or in Thailand last year. So that is a sentence I can't believe is something that I can say, and it's truth. So, um I have I have an update on that for you, man, Mike. Uh, this is, that, oh, is, oh, this is oh, the I'm reason. Excited. This is the Riz from Monroeville, PA. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, Mike. Yes. That 20 tie bot that you is have. $30 billion, right? $30 billion? It is 59 cents. Yes. Ooh, it's you, went up. You get it, my friend. You yes. get almost 75, almost 60 cents. Hot damn. Hey, hold on. You know what? If I get this in a dime. 69 cents. Nice. Anyways, this is your Wrestling Ma'am show. You can check out everything. By the way, Sorg, we slept together yet the whole weekend, what? didn't we? No, no, no. What? You and I slept together. In the, um, same, in the same room. room? In the same room. Um, I was on a couch and you were on a completely separate piece of furniture. That's what you think. Um, I, 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 I would mean, like to point. You, I would like to point out. Forget, I was in a completely forget, different borough. You forget. I was the only sober. one. I didn't get that drunk. Um, anyway, I, 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 I was gonna say you, didn't get you, were, not the, you were not the only sober one, Riz. Please, Trust me, I tried. I tried, everyone. I tried to get drunk. Please, please everybody, check out wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Uh, hit us up at good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Four one two. Four one two. I forgot the number. <laughs> Two zero six WMS zero. Wow, I'm it, I'm it's the plane. I, I lose my mind when I travel. Apparently, uh, and uh, you can also please um, subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and video versions of the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook and YouTube. Uh, typically on Tuesday nights at ten PM, we are live streaming on Facebook Live. Of course, we're on YouTube this week because we are all remote and not in the studio to do the Facebook Live in our usual setup. Uh, but uh, you know, keep an eye out. We at least put the link there if hey, anything's sword. changing. Did anyone tell Larry? Oh, is, it, oh, is he is, watching two hundred five live by himself right now? He's in, in the couch. dark. In the dark, watching two hundred five live by himself. You know what? You know what? Larry's fine. He's fine where he is. He he doesn't know we're there half the time, so we're good. He won't figure it out until after two hundred five live is done. That's, That's true. true. He may watch Talking Smack afterwards. That's true. Wait, is it over? Is it over now though? No, um, no, it's only no, it's still gone. It's an hour. I, it's yeah, still, it's, I, only I still, it's still nine thirty here for me. I don't even know. Um, anyways, exactly. Sorg is podcasting in a TARDIS. <laughs> Pretty much at this point. Um, uh, at the, shout out to our friends, patreon.com slash wrestling, wrestling mayhem, mayhem show. show. Sorry, I got messages <laughs> distracted me. Thank you. Helping me out, Mike. I'm a little weird, uh, a little off tonight. Um, but uh, thank you to the people who do support the show, including Bo Diggity. Woo! Woo! I, I didn't get a chance to woo. Yeah, I was say that loud. 
I didn't get a, I didn't get a chance to woo while I was in the Charlotte airport tonight uh, to this morning. So uh, it's <clears> good <throat> to get that out. Uh, also, our friends Alex Cards, Ed Burke, um, Tragar, Bobby F J Town, and at the five dollar level, thanks to our friends uh, Tina Keys and Christopher Bishop, they'll begin the gold where I get to tell you about my trip <laughs> through Charlotte. <laughs> in fascinating in a fascinating I just, for oldest yeah. airport longest lines oh yes get it what a joke um no. no okay okay anyways let's get into some wrestling talk and um this week i yeah you, there's there's like a lot going on but <laughs> sort of a lot going on so i you know and, and i know we've been kind of um not like just kind of off the cuff lately uh so but but there is some interesting stuff that, that, that's happening in the news um did you guys well first of all first of all you guys are ready because we got of course money in the banks in two weeks we'll talk about that <laughs> more next week probably but we got great balls of fire yes and we got a logo for this oh a, god the logo we got the logo which is just a big old dick it's, it's a dick sandwich it's a it, dick it's there, a dick sandwich there's the image for you guys it's on a, video it's a penis. this has been going um, around so so it's 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 two it, it's a dick balls of it, fire it's a, it's balls see all right i have a theory on this I okay uh, on this. i do too all right. Um, my theory is that Kurt Angle has been getting texts from someone. <laughs> he, no, no, no. <laughs> no I just... Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. The Kurt Angle text thing. We have no idea what's been going on with it, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Kurt Angle had an affair with someone in WWE marketing. <laughs> okay. And this is all subtext. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Okay. Kurt right. gave her an STD. Oh no! So now oh. she made the marketing logo to be a giant flaming penis to let everyone know that Kurt has herpes. Wow! And wow. and is now written in the program that his name will be Herp Angle. Oh, you had me until that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you went too far on that one. You had me until that. Ah, oh, come on. You had, you had me. You, you that was, that was too much. Um, what, what if I but, said it like Howard Finkel? What if I said no. like Herp No. Angle. No. No. Doesn't doesn't help. No. Okay. See, but, Ed Burke. Ed Burke. They, he's agreeing with me. He's like Kurt sent the dick pic to someone, didn't he? You know the the facial expression. If you put that idea to, in your head, he said it to Stephanie, and that's why he to went continue to, the SummerSlam romance to, from years ago. Went, that's why he went to Graves during the sh during the show, showing him what he sent to her, and he wanted to know how. <laughs> that's to why Graves didn't want to talk about it because he had never seen an Olympic penis, and he he wanted to see if Graves could delete a picture once it's sent. Which you can't. Hey, hey, you know, you know who we should go to for that? Someone who's really good at deleting things. Broken mm. fucking Matt Hardy. That's true. Delete. Um, but I actually have a theory on this. Okay, is it better than mine? Like, it's not as convoluted as the 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 the, the dick pic, the dick dick pic theory. Here's what I think. Somebody in the WWE offices. I don't know if it's it's pro it's definitely not Vince McMahon. Let's get that out of the way real quick. It's not Vince McMahon, but somebody in the WWE offices has seen what's going on in this world. They know that if they show first, they if they know they can get away with a shitty title for a pay per view, and they post it all over Twitter. That thing is going to get retweeted. It's going to get liked. It's going to get shared. It's going to get whatever the hell you want to do it to it. It's, the picture is going to be there. You're going to be like, "Oh, this sucks. This is stupid." But it's still putting that name out there. And now, now it's gone into the logo, 
where it's just, like we said, a flaming dick. That is going to get shared over and over again. And then people are going to tune in to see what the hell this is. And then it, it's just going to be hopefully a good pay-per-view, by the way. I mean, I mean, the, the card the card already looks damn good with the main event being Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar. I, I mean, think that was one of the ones. We just need to get past. I, yeah, I we need to get past this. the name and the logo. I think fans of Jerry Lee Lewis are going to be sorely disappointed. But it's, it's Hulk Hogan texting, says Brandon. And Ed Burke said that Kurt Angle's dick has Olympic cock rings on it. And I almost spit out my saucer. I wish but I could any, make up the title. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're not going to though. But the thing is, it's like what it, the 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 thing is. Any publicity right now for WWE, for the WWE Network, for anything is good for their brand. They have to go up against the NBA championships, which will be over by then. That by no, they'll be, but they'll be over by then. But still, it gets people to look at what the hell are they doing this WWE. The NHL championships, which will be over hopefully soon. Go Pens. Um, and all the other sh- stuff that's happening there. And it, it's free publicity for WWE. You guys are all falling into the palm of their hands, which is what everybody wants to do. They 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 want they they have that momentum now. They have the oh look at this look at this graph graphic here. It looks like a penis, and it, it's look look at the look, look at where the balls are headed. It's into the face of Samoa Joe. Oh, oh guys, guys, no 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 wait Mike 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 okay just figured it out. I just figured it out. Okay, oh. I figured it out. It's a marketing campaign. Yes, exactly. No no exactly. No. It's for herbie medication. Oh. That, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I said herp angle, you said that was too far. Yeah. And you're bringing no. it right back around to that. But, so but, I think what Sorg is basically no, 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 saying no, no, no. is I'm right. No, no, no. But like, okay, well, anything, no Brand, anything, Brandon, it, Brandon got me thinking because he says it's a, it's a penis flamethrower throwing out balls. Mm-hmm. But so, so which is a metaphor for when you have an STD. That Kurt Angle has, and that's why he's been texting Corey Graves. It's all a rich tapestry. I mean, if anything, this should be sponsored by Viagra. Why? Uh, no, 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 because that's... I don't think Kurt has any issues getting it up. Yeah, I mean... He, he, won, a, he won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck, all right? Let's give the guy some credit. He just gets it up too often and gives out STDs to random chicks in marketing. Nice. I'm telling you. That's what happened. Guys, I like my theory better. I want to stop the presses now because I just saw this on Facebook. Um, this uh, I think just got posted, and this is not uh, WWE big big. This is actually more indie wrestling. But our friends Wheels, of course, on the show, he was just on I think last week. Um, but and, and and I was curious about this when I heard about this. But our friends at the Renegade Wrestling Alliance, locally in in in, in the Pittsburgh area, um, they're actually sponsoring a race car. What? And there is a picture right there for you guys on video. Oh. Um, you can check it out. It's at the RWA. Um, I think it's on their Facebook page. Yeah, it's on their timeline. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, go check that out. This is the car. Here's the That's front That's a good of it number. Almost. Number 87. Number 87. Mm-hmm. There you go. Depends. There you go. So that's really cool. So, so I mean, it was just something that I've never heard of with uh, you know pro wrestling. I heard about that when they were they, they mentioned it when when at the last show and I was editing it and and uh, and I was like, oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Um, so uh, just just I wanted to give a shout out there, and I just saw it come up on Facebook, so I wanted to get that into the. By show. the way, Sorg, an- another little side p- side note on the in the wrestling thing. Have you been checking up on the IWC uh, Facebook group yet? Um, not and how you are now a participant in the Super Indie Tournament. I'm sorry, what? Uh, they they announced uh they, they announced the well Plummer posted a poll. Uh, Justin Plummer, the owner of IWC, uh, and one of the participants now is a Sorgatron. Oh, I saw that. Like one of the fans was a participant. 
Yeah. Uh, see, see, when you set up a pool, guys, you got to make sure you, you close, close it. it. Yeah, because yeah. I, because I did, I did my duty and voted for the great Kali, of course. <laughs> You know, there's a lot we can learn from this when we talk about social media and, and if you're running a group or anything like that. Um, so, hold on. So, Chris Russo, did they clean this up? Nope, there's nope. one vote. There's one vote for Sora. Who voted for me? Chris Spiker. Spike. Hey, Spiker. Spiker. Hey. Uh, old, tiny um, IWC alum, by the way. Did, did they put me in the poll? I do appreciate. I do. I do appreciate the four people that voted for anybody but Chris Larusso. <laughs> and Bradley Ruthers, who's a fan with the IWC. <laughs> I, I, but we, we can have the indie talk. But um, we're actually considering doing a bracketology show, maybe maybe around the show too. So, but we'll see what congratulations, Sorg! Your first round match is probably going to be against uh, Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole, baby. Sorg, Sorg, pro tip, watch out for super kicks. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling there might be super kicks. Ah, oh, boy. Man, I've, would... I've done some scouting. I've done some scouting, Sorg. Gonna... I mean, you were you were in like the, the little doo 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 from uh, Reloaded yeah. on uh, WC. Yeah. So, you know, it could happen. And the photographer got selected. So that yeah. was a close one. Yeah, that was really close. Anyway, wrestling, Sorg. Wrestling. <laughs> Let's go so, back to the mainstream. Uh, um, got, uh, can I ask a question? That's what this show is for. Okay. You just All asked right. it. All right. Can, can I ask a secondary question that's following the question I'm asking right now? Sure. Sure. Okay. Why do extreme rules um, have rules? A, have rules. Mm -hmm. To not be extreme. It was the least like I've seen. I I've seen many many things that were less extreme, that were more extreme than extreme rules. Like we didn't have a weapon shot until over an hour into the show. Um. Okay. So. Yeah, I think I think the concept of extreme rules is highly misguided these days, mm -hmm. without question. I am not just. I am not. Um, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. It's come a long way since one night stand. <laughs> yeah. It's no, but it's gone in reverse. It one night has. stand was great. No, no, and it's and it's just like we're gonna make it a five way, which means there's no rules, and, and we're gonna have a the kendo stick on the pole where there's like two kendo shots, and and it just. You're right. It, it's not terribly extreme and like the whole the whole premise was can bailey get extreme and the answer was no yeah what? yeah like yeah. tommy dreamer would disagree i've watched the edge and christian show the totally reeks of awesomeness she beats the shit out of tommy Dreamer with a kendo stick in that that's right that's right um i i, I you know okay so watching the show and i and i saw your tweets about hey this is maybe not as extreme um and I got to thinking about TLC. Uh huh. And and of course we have money in the bank here in, in in two weeks too, so I think it might have something to do with like those are stealing the car crash scenario things. I mean, what are we going to do at Extreme Rules when we already have a pay per view that's tables, ladders, and chairs? You, you know, you know, you could have done Sorg. He could have put that Brian Kendrick Akira Tozawa street fight. You know what? I, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Mm -hmm. Why do, well, I, I, understand, I understand TV's progression room on a pay-per-view wise, why it was there instead of there. But maybe it could have been a little bit more. But I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. I would have probably w rather watched that than the... Uh, and the representation they showed for 205 Live anyways. The weird tag, mixed tag match with Sasha I, Banks. And... I think Alicia Fox got hurt in that. Yeah. I, I, th I, think, I think that was a little bit odder because it looked like Alicia Fox got <clears> hurt. <throat> um, but I did like seeing Sasha do a double knee to Noam Dar. 
Burke Burke uh, says uh, Extreme Rules is uh, symptomatic of WWE's nostalgia problem. They refuse to let go of the Attitude Era, but can't go far enough to make them work. Just let it die. What? But, the, but they still have Hell in a Cell. They still have TLC. Yeah. They're going to have money in the bank. It, they're they're going to be crazy, right? There's going to be a lot of ladder spots. There's going to be a lot and, of crazy stuff. And honestly, I, I feel like WWE is taking the pay-per-view extreme rules too literal. They, they've been they've been going out. They've been going, hey, we're going to put a thing on a pole and we're going to do a, a five way which is so extreme guys it's, it's nothing never been done before because it's it's extreme and it's like him it's like somebody trying to tell you something's well, happening so so here's here's an interesting going. thing because how many times do they tell you this is a thing that hasn't happened since blah 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 because like a tag it's team, extreme sword. a tag team title match like a tag team cage title <clears throat> match hasn't happened since like 1996 yes. But do you want to know why a tag title cage match hasn't happened? Because it's a stupid fucking concept. Well, okay, okay, no, no, I'm just, no, 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 no. Both people have to leave at the same time to win the match. Yes. That is an entirely inherently dumb concept. Because if one person gets out early, guess what? It's not a tag team match anymore. It is a handicap match. Right, Which, handicap. by the way, is my all-time. F- which is probably my worst favorite uh, match in a WWE two or WWE versus uh, Raw versus SmackDown game, because as soon as my partner leaves, I get beat up. Yep. Right, and, and, and <clears throat> I don't have a problem with that being an escape match. I, I like the double escape match I, uh, uh, concept, and I thought they did a lot of fun with it. Mm. Um, Sork, I'm I'm gonna ask this question again. It's a question I've asked after every Raw pay-per-view. Why aren't the Hardys broken yet? Yeah, they should be. No, no, no. Like, the, like here's what should have happened. Wait, wait, wait. Cesaro why, should have why, left the cage. Cesaro why? should have left the cage. Jeff, He should have taken out Jeff on the outside. So we should have had Matt and Sheamus together in the middle of the ring. You know, one, one, one guy each on the outside. So Cesaro takes out Jeff Hardy by doing the Cesaro swing into the tables, like just ba- bash them back and forth between the two announced tables. And then Matt hits a twist of fate, and it looks like he's about to climb out to win. As soon as he puts his head through the door, Cesaro comes in, big boots the door right into Matt's head, and that's what breaks them. That's what breaks them. Like, how is that not the entire match? In fa- Instead, it may look like Sheamus and Cesaro literally just barely won. Um, this is a good point from from uh, what about in the comments? It says they should get rid of the cage door and just have them climb out. I think that makes it more interesting. Yeah, um, <clears throat> and, and also the the broken issue is a courthouse issue. Okay, but but you can you can set it up and then when the courthouse issue is finished, have them come back as the broken gimmick. You don't know their plans. You don't know what they're doing with them from here to there. It, well, if they're not doing it, then why the fuck did they bring them back? Because I don't. I don't. I don't want them. I, I don't want them to. Uh, if it's if you mean separate them into Matt, like what they did with Matt versus Jeff. I don't. I don't, I don't want there. Matt versus Jeff. I don't want Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy. I want broken Matt and brother Nero. That's what made them interesting. That's what made them good again. That's what rebuilt their careers because before that shit happened in TNA, guess what? They were boring and stale as fuck. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Um, and the weird Jeff stuff wasn't really working either. Uh, no, I, I think I, I presume they brought them back because of the broken, and then they got oh, stopped. No, they, they brought them back because they saw money. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They brought them they back saw, they, merchandise. Yeah. By the way, whether they're broken or not. They're selling Hardy T-shirts, and that's what matters. This is true. Not to me. That's not what matters. Because guess no, what? I, no, I, no, I, no, not to you. T-shirt. You're one. You're one. Mike, okay. Do we have to have oh, this? Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no. We can't. We can't say this because everyone in that crowd does the delete chant. Mm-hmm. They still buy the shirts. Though. It is a gimmick that they are not doing. Yeah, but you mean yeah, all those people in that crowd that bought a ticket. Yes. Yeah. But they're 
they that's not what they want to see the delete gimmick. They want to see the broken gimmick. They don't want to see Matt and Jeff. Honestly, I I I didn't know where you're going with this, but I have a personal story that my friend who hasn't watched television hasn't watched WWE television in years saw the saw the WWE had Jeff Hardy back. Didn't care about TNA, didn't care about the brother Nero stuff, but they saw they brought Jeff Hardy back, and she is going to a raw taping for the first time in years. So that's why they brought them back because that's why they bring them back in and that's how the fans get brought back right. in. That's so, why the so, rock gets brought back in. That's why Brock Lesnar right. is back in. That's right. why everybody is back in because they get the t-shirts, they get the money, they get everything now. You're, you're tuning, you're tuning in and you're paying for WWE network because you watch NXT and Joe <clears> five <throat> live anyways. Um, so you're not a concern. Now it is a good point. Um, uh, what about in the chat room is saying Hardy's are top merch stars. They have like eight different t-shirts now. Um, so, so why, I mean, there, there's so and they still have, and they still have the, uh, the pro wrestling tea shop up for some reason. They do. Interesting. I, I thought they were, they had to shut that down. I thought they were going out. I'm even thinking Bullet Club or something. Uh, no, anyways, Bullet Club's still, there. But, but still, so, so, so you bring them back. And just by the fact that they're back and they're the Hardy boys, you have a certain number of people while they have a buzz. And now you got everybody with a buzz or, or the buzz has showed WWE that there's value in them. Um, you have all those people that are like, oh, I haven't seen the Hardys for like eight years um, coming back and, you know, like, like Riz's, Riz's friend as well. Um, so, yeah, in here, the guys in the crowd at the pay per view are hardcore enough to know the broken Hardys. The average fan doesn't. But again, kind of like we talked with the NXT, the smart fans educate the not smart fans and now you have kids in the crowd doing delete because they see everybody do it on the, every week on raw and now it becomes another thing and people don't know the backstory not everybody in the crowd saying delete knows the backstory mm-hmm. but so my, so, so, so you you bring them back they're regular hardies nostalgia factor boom 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 top top shirt seller once that starts to fade court 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 house issue like, not courthouse issue but the, the lawsuit of the, the no but i, the rights I truly are done don't, and you, i truly you, don't think WWE is going to do it at all it maybe i don't think they ever do if they keep making money off the hardies then no then it's, it's just and it's just that's a why, fucking nostalgia act like the dudleys were last year what was this um, why, there was a good there's a good line on the edge and christian uh podcast i believe uh, when they were talking to no, when they're talking to Natty Neidhart about the women's division, uh, Vince admittedly tries to stay one step behind the curve. Well, mm-hmm. that's fucking stupid. That it's it's business, and yeah. he does, he's he, he, you know while they innovate in so many other ways, <laughs> actually, in the way that they innovated with the WWE Network is not something that was new at the time. They they stepped they, how the technology they were writing was the uh, MLB TV network. Uh, uh, technology, right? They were not mm-hmm. the first out of the game on anything like that. Um, they, you can yeah. WWE is the Apple computer of entertainment, mm-hmm. except maybe yeah. not so success- I'm, successful. I'm sorry, Sorg. I'm a PC guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm a PC talking. guy. I don't. I don't get that. Who's Who's the PC in this scenario? Lucha Underground. Yep. Yeah. We got to work on that one, but I, I see. I, I... No, no, Lucha is the Linux. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yes, it is. L- Linux Underground. Yeah, Lucha's Linux. Um, TNA is just uh, an abacus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Oh, speaking of TNA, we should actually say something. Um, they have their India shows this week. Mm-hmm. Great, Kelly. Which is the fir- which is the first time a televised wrestling program has had their shows from India taped or not? It's historic, so, regardless. Yeah. So I mean, good on them. Yeah. The shows are probably going to be awful. Yeah. Stay tuned to the midweek war, especially since their pay per views already been taped. So stay tuned to the midweek war. Which for, is pro- uh, this, is, this is a statement that broke me when we did the uh, midweek war last week. They pre-taped Slammiversary that they're going to make you pay like thirty or forty bucks for. Uh, probably fifty. Probably fifty. And, and not probably when 50. and not when they stand a major oh, paper. That hurts. Imagine if they pre-taped Extreme Rules. That hurts so much. You're paying yeah. nine ninety nine. Would you care? Not n- honestly. No. The only 
the only pre-taped pay-per-view to my knowledge WWE's ever done was SummerSlam '92, right? Yeah, it was in England. Well, I mean, I mean, the the older WrestleManias used to be. I don't know. They're they're no, broadcast they're... on closed circuit. They just yeah. weren't on the weekends. <clears throat> they were live. And uh, Ed Burke says calling TNA an abacus is giving them too much credit as a foundational element. That's probably true. <laughs> because you can actually count on abacus. Ah. 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 I got jokes. Uh, also, I got jokes. ROH is the Chromebook, probably. <laughs> TNA is an TNA is an off market Android tablet, no Google Play. Man, we're getting into a really weird place here. So. TNA, we're getting an awesome TNA, cast on this one. TNA is a jailbroken iPod color. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Well, that went to yeah. a place. Yeah, that went to a place. Because like it kind of resembles what you want it to be, but it's broken and busted on the inside, so it doesn't work right. On that note, I think it's a good time to go to a break. Please check out our friends at IndiaWrestling.us. Check out some pro wrestling from our friends. A lot of people in 205 Live right now. Of course, Super Indie is happening this weekend with our friends at IWCWrestling.com. Go check that out. Adam Cole is a part of it. DJ Z from TNA. Um, and so much more. Like It is just a stack, stack, stack that card so go to iwcwrestling.com indywrestling.us the digital download and dvd will be available shortly after and check out the uh, you can get aftershock volume two where adam cole uh came out or check out the youtube channel to see uh some clips from that as well uh so uh the chat room is rolling we'll be back with a big question after this message sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Wrestling Man Show, we are back. Mike Sorg in a uh, undisclosed hotel in Peoria, Illinois. The Riz back in the Pittsburgh area, this as well as Mad Mike Poughkeepsie, New York, talking your pro wrestling for this week. Um, so there was a story this week, and, and, and now I'm somebody who has visited, although I did not go for the ride on the rock bottom, uh, a drop ride at the top, but I got to see WWE New York or Niagara Falls, excuse me, uh, <laughs> back in the day, um, long after WWE New York actually had actually closed. So WWE is no stranger. Like, have they have had a WWE themed ride? And and then since closed, like this 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 one up in Niagara Falls, I don't think I've been to Niagara Falls since it's closed. Um, but there was a new story this week about um, it, it was just an article with concepts apparently, for a, a WWE wrestling-themed park with the road to WrestleMania, and there's a questionable-looking John Cena holding up a roller coaster. It looks, looks like it might be an indoor, outdoor, I don't, I'm not entirely sure, uh, kind of thing. Um, some other images, and again, you know, very WWE-themed, like an arena kind of area, you know, the, you know, the roller coasters, they have uh, a concept of road to WrestleMania dark ride with a, uh, motorized, uh, you know, you know, uh, it looks like the muscle promo video for great balls of fire. It does look a bit mm -hmm. too. Um, you know, they're, they're talking about, you know, for example, maybe simple haunted houses could be themed like undertaker and the boogeyman. That, you know. that looks like, uh, could go back to that picture of the kids on the right, on the, oh. Car, on that car ride, right. um, that looks like the uh, a, a scene from WWE Crush Hour. And <laughs> and they just got and they just got hit with the twisty rockets. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, it does a little bit. Um, so, I, so that got me thinking. You know, what are some other rides that? Mm. Oh, this is gonna be great. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be great. Mm. You would like mm. to see at this. Mm. Uh, oh, Riz, more mm. for this. Let's get Riz first. Mm. Um, so you, you you have that tower concept of a uh, you know the, the the everybody's strapped in and it goes up in the air, like it mm. slowly it slowly brings you up. What do I think I know where this is going? Because <laughs> you definitely do, and you, it's one of those things where you go up up top, and then back down, and back up. And back down, because something like that, and you call it, man, Mike. What am I going to call this? Call me Bob. Nope. No. Nope. The Punjabi drop. The Punjabi plunge. There it is. <laughs> I have done my job. Damn it. 
Uh, you can follow me at Rich Plays Games on the Twitch. <laughs> Everybody, um, stay mayhem or whatever the hell the, the brings it around. And the game around. is at the Riz on Twitter, and <laughs> he's yes. out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God! As soon as soon as you said "big tall tower," I'm like, "Oh God, it's gonna be a Kali ride." It is. <laughs> it is gonna be a Kali reference. Well, I was either gonna do that or like in in Kennywood in Pittsburgh, uh, it's gonna be a ro- water ride in the Punjabi Plunge. <sighs> oh wow. Okay. Um, but you should really make that like Splash Mountain, and just have Runjan Singh in like the old in the in the bunny ears just follow you around. And there should be yeah. a dancing Beth Phoenix and a dancing Natty Nyhart. Like, yeah, like they should all they should all be part of it. And caution, oh, no, Run, Run Jin caution, Singh is, you will get wet. Runjan Singh is available. Of course he is. I'm, I'm He's sure Runjan Singh. He's Runjan Singh. Um. All right. I have I have a couple different ideas for a WWE theme park. Uh, first one. Let, let's take the Dumbo ride from Disney. Let's just make everything unicorns. Mm-hmm. And that would be new day ride, new day ride, new day ride. But you take a little bit part of the Mad Hatter Tea Party, and from the middle you have an ice cream. In the middle you have the ice cream cart, and the animated Kofi, um, Biggie, and Xavier pop up, just to like clap along as it as it rides around and go new day ride. Um, also. Every good amusement park, at least all the ones I go to, has a fun house. WWE will have something slightly different. You can have a theme for different wrestlers, but it has to be called the same thing. It has to be called the House of Horrors. 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 I am not Horrors. Michael Cole. Horrors. Horrors. Um, <laughs> I just want to make sure we have that. Yes. So. No, no. No, it's right there. And um okay, and, and I have one more idea. Um it's a roller coaster ride, okay? It's going to have the most rises and falls of any roller coaster in the entire world. Some are little, some are big, and we're going to call it Dolph Ziggler's career. Oh. And you just end at the bottom. <laughs> I thought I thought and you were actually say it. And you actually like that's how you leave the park, like you ends up in the parking lot. Okay, we we, we do have several from the chat room. <laughs> First of all, wheels. I was wheels uh, says the angled total roll slam ride. Makes sense. Uh, now, are there any Olympic dick pics involved in that ride? No, 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 no. That was the thing we came up with. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, Ed Burke says a roller coaster would be perfect at WWE Park. Lots of ups and downs in the end. Then you're back where you started and have gone nowhere. Mm-hmm. Dolph Ziggler's career. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sword, so, so, what, what would your ride be? I, I don't know. I'm having fun with everybody else's. We can just keep coming up with these. Yeah, I got another one if you want. Go for it. Um, so, just a ride that turns the entire way 360 degrees over and over again until you throw up from boredom and you call that the big show oh, hmm. I, don't, I don't know about that because he's always turning heel to face heel oh okay to face. so wait heel like like the face so half so half the total right is all smiling Big Show, like him dresses Baby New Year, mm-hmm. hit him palling around with Enzo Amore, and the other and side then, is Bad Big Show, where he's in the camo gear, and he's with Show Miz and with Jericho. Yes, yes. Okay. and then okay. and, if, if that, and then in the middle, you have him what, you have him during the um, John Laurinaitis days, where he's just crying the entire time, I, I and think go back I think, and forth. I think the, the center of the ride should be like beta version Big Show, like as Paul White when he first showed up, and every car should be held out by his arms. Mm-hmm. And then one, and then one lucky family gets to ride in the giant, um, the the giant uh, monster truck. Okay, okay, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Now, do they eventually get pushed off the roof? Yes. Okay. Wanted to make sure. 
it's a safe ride. I mean, they, they have they're on bungee cords. It's okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Sorg, 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 do you have one yet, or should yeah. we just should we just keep brainstorming these? Because well, I, there were some. There was there, there guys being saved. Somebody inspired us. Dan Hooven did have some recommendations on the Facebook page. Um, there was the. I, I mean, I don't know. The he was having fun. He was. I'm not going to show all these, but there was um the sunny experience. Oh no. Um okay, that is far too narrow. Oh my. That's far too narrow and not enough children are in there. Uh, what? And, and no bald, and no bald <laughs> guys in there at all. That's true. All right, all right. And then there's also um the gender coaster. And there's a picture wow. of there's a picture of Dr. Mario. Um so. Wow, that that I don't I'm, know what you're in, insinuating there, Dan. I'm not even going to show you the. Uh, other no, one. gender. Uh, gender is a huge Nintendo fan. Mm -hmm. his, favorite, his favorite game happens to be Doctor Mario. It, it's an underrated classic. I don't blame him. It, it's he's totally not. He, it's totally not because he. We think he's on like steroids or anything. It's definitely not that. He's Chris, not what are steroids? Whoa! Whoa! Sorg. Uh, Sorg. What? What? Sorg, what, what, hold on, uh, we, we have another one in the chat room. Brandon says, a motorcycle merry-go-round playing the Baron Corbin theme music. I am all about that. Mm -hmm. I, oh, Sorg, I have another one. Do you have one? No. Okay. Um, now, if, have you ever been to Disney, Sorg? No. Okay. Well, th there's, there's a show there. Because, you know, amusement parks have to have shows. They have to. Uh, there's a show there called the Country Bear Jamboree. No. Now, no. Yeah, no, no, no. We're going to go there. It's not going to be called the Country Bear Jamboree. It's going to be called the Territory Jamboree. And we're going to get Man Mountain Rock. We're going to get the real Double J, Jesse James. Mm -hmm. We're going to get the Drifter, Elias Sampson. Got to get some new blood in there. And, of course, the lead in this, the Honky Tonk Man. No, are and they robotic? Um, Honky Tonk Man is not because he is be desperate for work. He, Can he, we, need, he, need, he does need the money, though. I, I don't have a ride idea, but I have okay. a concept idea. Okay. What if, you know, because you can't have the wrestlers there or anything like that, but you need a representation of the wrestlers, especially the big names, right? You have the mascots at Disney, right? Yeah, yeah. With the big heads and... Oh. Big hands and everything like that. Okay. So I'm envisioning these like very cartoonized versions of The Undertaker, John Cena, The Rock, Hulk Hogan, like with the maybe big not heads. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, yeah. I maybe was maybe say, not Hulk Hogan. Maybe leave Hulk Hogan somewhere else. Um, uh, maybe leave yeah. him in the southern part of the park. Andre the Giant. You know, that, that's better. Um, you know, something like that. Like, I think that could be interesting. Oh, geez. The Rock and Samson need the guitar playing and sing off. I can't wait for the next time Rock has to come back. Um, but uh, but no, that's, that's – I like that. I like that. I think, guys, I think we've planned the ultimate WWE um, theme park. Cesaro um, Swing. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that, that, one, that one just writes itself. Yes, uh, that's, that's, sword. That's, that's just right there. Oh, oh, sorry. I, I feel like there's one, there's one part of a WWE theme park we have grossly underestimated. Um, foodstuffs. Yeah, foodstuffs. I mean, I I think I think obviously, WWE ice cream bars. They have to come back. That's right. They have to come back. Like oh, all yeah. brand, all brand new. They have to. And you have the New Day ice cream carts. Mm -hmm. All the, the over the place. And you call it, and you, and then you have a hot dog stand, uh, the foot long junkyard dog hot dog. Oh, that's good. Are you it's sure just, it's not? Are you sure it's not the Dean Ambrose hot dog cart from from that raw in Brooklyn? No, I'm going full on old school on this one. Okay. You get you get the hot dog and all the fixings. <laughs> Ed, Ed, Ed Burke just came up with a great licensing opportunity. All food provided by KFC. Oh no! <laughs> oh, all right, that would guys. be a messy park. Let Ugh. us know. Hit us up at Mayhem Show on the Twitter if you have a big question 
uh, answer for us for your amusement park rides. So uh, hashtag WMS, big question if you have that. So there was an incident this week. Yes, sir. We talked about gold dust. And, and I thought we didn't have like a, a demeaning conversation about gold dust. We love oh. gold dust here on the show. Um, and, and the idea came up about like, maybe this is like his retirement tour because he is getting up there in age. I think he's in his late forties. He's in like the best shape of his life. Don't get me wrong. Um, and, and, but so. It seems very one last runny. So, so the wife of the show, producer, she's not on tonight, but uh, producer, Ooh. wife of the show, uh, uh, Missy, she's she's really great about pulling out like like lines from the show and 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 and, and things like that that'll, that'll get you wanting to check out the show, right? Use your words, use your words, sword. And it, it, you know, this week she's putting out one. So it says, "Is is gold dust? Is this gold dust a retirement push?" And uh, particularly one from Silvertron Media, and uh, and to which, um, well, Gold Dust was tagged because we're trying to get the attention of people, and uh, he said, uh, "You're an idiot." Hmm. So you know, I don't. I we just got called an idiot from one of our favorite wrestlers. Um, now I, we're not the only ones that he's calling an idiot. I want to. I want to point. Out. <laughs> So I don't know if this is just the thing he's doing, because if somebody else says uh, gold dust and lipstick on his teeth, lol, uh, and he says, lol, you're an idiot. Uh, so I, I don't know if this is part of his phase or what. But, well, he is trying uh, to be a heel. He is. So I yes. mean, you know. Yes, but I don't. But sword, don't, don't rip on. Um, uh, for first of all, Mr. Gold Dust, M- Mr. Dust. Um, on behalf of Sorgatron Media, we sincerely apologize for the if, if if you took offense to our stuff. Please don't call us idiots anymore. We have feelings. Thank you. So it's probably wow. Golda's retirement wow. run, right? <laughs> probably of course. His retirement run. Of, course it's, it's, of course it's his retirement run. What do you think? I mean, he's push, <laughs> he's up there in age. I mean, geez. But no, I mean, I you know, I, See, it, we're not it, idiots. We're assholes. We're smart. Huge difference. Isn't that isn't that right, Mister Anderson? No. Oh God. No. Why? Why? Why did you make me think of that, Riz? I like Mr. Sit, Anderson. Go sit in the corner. Mr. Like Anderson Mr. was really I like nice Mr. Guy. Kennedy yes. in WWE. Uh, Mr. Anderson in TNA. Mr. Anderson. Horrible. <laughs> but Mr. Anderson as a person is really good. Um, and, and I appreciate a lot of it. And, you know, I had a good discussion with him on and off camera at, uh, at Meadville. I, I think, I think that's, that's, that's the thing. Like I, whatever this is, I mean, the same thing happened with road dog a few, few months ago, right. Where we said about something, you know, uh, throwing darts at a board for SmackDown and, and he seemed to take offense with that. And, and obviously they're not going to listen to the show and, and find out the context. Right. Like that was just one statement of an idea, you know, Opinions of three to five people on the show. Sword, where sword. I, I think everybody listens to the show. That's why they're responding. That's why Goldust and the Road Dog are responding. They have watched our show and they're watching it right now. Of course. Hi, hi Mr. Hi, Mr. Road Dog. Of course. Of course. Um, the, the numbers aren't big for the show, but the numbers that are there are all employees of the WWE. Hi. We, we have one. Hi. We have former a former, employee. Yeah. former employee. You have one every week, Sork. That's true. Every week. That's true. It's all your friends um, checking up uh, on you. I, I, it's, I, it's, I think it's, I figured something out. It's WWE HR making sure you're abiding by NDA. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. An NDA I absolutely did not sign. Hi, Vince. <laughs> um, Sorg, I think I figured something out, though. We talked about the SmackDown dartboard that Road Dog uses, right? By the way, I hope some artistic fellow out there listening can make a rendition of the Road Dog booking uh, dartboard. Um, Sorg, I think it's been on TV. No. I. Oh, no. there was a dartboard that one week. Sor- no, 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 Sorg. It's the corkboard that we've seen in every fashion file segment. Oh, kid, man. I was I was just watching SmackDown <laughs> again today, and I'm like, boy, they're using this corkboard with a whole bunch of random people and things on. It. Oh my god. 
We are through the looking glass here, people. Kidman return confirmed kid for man. 205 Live. Kid man return. Is he a kid? Is he a man? Who knows? Is he a squid? Who knows? <laughs> he could be a squid. He could be. It could be Billy Squidman. We don't know. But but Sorg, I'm convinced that is the board. I'm absolutely convinced of it now. I'm, I'm convinced. Gonna, I'm, convinced. I'm, I'm gonna find out what the hell's his, his his Twitter name, Road Dog, right? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, uh, Brandon's asking us what we thought about the new briefcase for the uh, women's money in the bank match. I didn't get a good look at it. Oh, it, it was just like a white briefcase. I thought it looked good. I thought it was better than the, than the ones we've used for basically any other Money in the Bank briefcase. But uh, I would like to say I called it Lana you versus did. Naomi for the women's title at Money in the Bank. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Is is Lana going to win the women's title in her first ever singles match, you guys? No. No. Um, Sorg? I... And if she does, she's gonna gender Mahal this, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I, and if she does, I would freak out if she turns around and hands it off to Eva Marie. Eva Marie is done with the company, sir. I don't care. <laughs> it's still, it's still, it's still a possibility. In it's Riz's... still a possibility. I mean, she I'd rather has... she hand it off to Summer Rae. What if she hands it off to Rusev, and that's what title he was looking for? Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I will dominate the women of the SmackDown. <laughs> wearing oh, my, Nash, wearing oh, my Nashville gonna, Predators jersey. We're going to get – Rusev's going to hate us now. <laughs> Rusev already hates us. We're based out of Pittsburgh. Go Pens. Yeah. Um, feeling, yeah I, I have a feeling. I, I'm not people. going to lie. Rusev winning the SmackDown Women's Sale would be the greatest thing in the world because yeah. I personally would love to see Charlotte versus Rusev. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would personally love to see that match. Like mm -hmm. Charlotte chops Rusev and woos in his face and Rusev goes, I've had enough of your woos. And just kicks her in the face. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Which would be very awkward and very weird at the same time, but also awesome. You know, I just, I just, I just tagged both of those people in a tweet. Mm -hmm. I really hope one of them sees it and is just like, "What the fuck?" Yes, <laughs> Rusev versus Charlotte. I want to see it. Like, I just want to see their reaction <laughs> to the suggestion. Yeah. Ed, Ed Burke says, "Char Char versus Ruru match of the year." That is entirely correct. Mm -hmm. and, and it will be it will be a match on this year's Mayhem Mania. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. We should just do a SummerSlam Mania just so we can book that even earlier. Yes. And really make Matt Carlin's go insane. <laughs> but Rusev has to be in a suit. <laughs> no, no. Charlotte has to be in a suit. Yes. Okay. All right, yeah. I'm down with it. Okay. <laughs> But Rusev has to have a top hat on. A very small top hat. Like a Daphne sized top hat. Okay. I'm down. Okay. I'm with it. I, I like how we're negotiating this match now. Mm -hmm. oh, it, yeah. it's, go well, it's, gone, it's gone from a match that we'd like to see to what are they going to wear to Rusev in a top hat? Yes. Because, you know, uh, we need Garza on that right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I zoned out for a bit because I was imagining Rusev versus Charlotte in like a barn burner, like crazy match, like not at WrestleMania, but I like at, at a great balls of fire. Yeah, something <laughs> like a great balls of at, fire. At like, good golly, Miss Molly. Yeah, oh my God, if we end up with that, <laughs> it's wait, wait. Is this is this the beginning of? Because we always talked about how how I'm TNA. You, this is a great. No, 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 no. Great. TNA had a lot of Phil Collins inspired titles. <laughs> Genesis, yes. Against all odds. And uh, I don't know if there are many more Jerry Lee Lewis songs that they can really pull from. I mean, we can, we, we can look up his discography, but I, I am right now actually. So so I mean. <laughs> I mean 
Thank you. I didn't even know who who sang that. So um, I believe I'm right on that anyway. No, 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 no. You're you're absolutely right on that. It's, it's it's shocking. I mean, there's a whole lot of shaking going on. There. Oh, I love that. The return of earthquake. Crazy arms. No, you don't have anything for crazy arms. Bailey. Um. Yes. That's when the, Bailey the return, made events. The return of Bailey. Thing. When she teams up with her wacky, waving, inflatable, arm filling tube men. Mm -hmm. In the middle, main event. Middle aged crazy could be the return of Terry Funk. <laughs> of no, course. He's... Yes. He or... might have even he might have even written that after Terry Funk. Mm. I mean, um, um End of the Road. Actually that'd be a good title. That'd be a good one. Well, wasn't Actually, that wait, that was a title. Well, that was if, if that they, was Roadblock. If they Guys, do that, did I they just do prove that, it? Did I just prove it? If, did. if they do that, we can go back to that classic WWE theme music. The end is here. Oh, they use it like twice, mm -hmm. or more than twice, probably. Yes. Um, Sorg, I don't know about you. I'm excited for WWE Boogie Boogie Countryman. Prepare <laughs> me the Boogie Man. <laughs> Boogie oh my is, god, there's Boogie actually there's actually a Jerry Lee Lewis um album called Last Man Standing. Right there. Boom. It writes itself. It writes itself. P page in an intergender triple threat match. Wait, oh, under, no, 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 no. I've already seen that match. It doesn't end well. Uh that's why they threw away that title. No one goes over. He also threw away those sheets. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Man. Sean, it'd be good, of course. Uh, they, they, they just The return of Mark Marrow. Hey, hey, Sorg, I don't think they're ready for that yet. Oh, no, apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. That's, Vince, Vince likes to stay a little bit behind the curve, remember? Oh, Jeez. God. All right, can I talk about Leech Underground? Oh, yes. Uh, Sorg... Where are you in your Lucha Underground uh, viewings? Episode six of this this season, um, and I'm just kind of a you know kind of out there thing. Like there's people out there that you know that have not watched Lucha Underground um, in its entirety, like I have. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> mm, not, some some people some people need to get on that shit. I don't know who I you're just, talking about. I mean, at a certain point, I mean, I'm watching it on the plane, and I, I'm kind of wondering, you know what people think um um you know watching it over my shoulder as as like people are getting killed um mm -hmm. but uh i love the dial of doom yeah dario's dial of doom oh like, i love it like it, we can we can have a problem with the fact that lana just walked in and got a title shot despite despite all the good good ladies on smackdown have to go through the hell that is a money in the bank match to do the same thing mm -hmm. um but it's at one of those. Hey, here's a reason to have title matches, and we don't really have to build it for five weeks. Right. I did like how they explained why Lana got the title shot, and it's because Naomi specifically requested it, and she said she doesn't care if it's for the title. So that's at least a good way to do it, as opposed to Shane or Daniel Bryan just say, "Hey, Lana is not in the match, so let's just give her a shot. Why not, guys?" Mm -hmm. Yep. Just. Just piss off the champion is all you really need to do, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So because WWE faces are stupid. Yeah, I mean yeah, we've yeah. known that for years, though. I mean, yeah, I know. And WWE heels are really, really smart. Um, see Alexa Bliss. <laughs> see Jinder Mahal. See the Miz. <laughs> but beyond that, I, I'm really enjoying so far. Um, I'm two matches in on the Best of Five series. Uh, for for Cage and um, Texano, yeah. um, we're starting to get the teasers for the Rabbit Tribe, and of course, I've seen them. <laughs> of course, I have seen them in action in person. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I, I'm really enjoying it, and I'm glad that I, I finally picked up on this. And I'm, I'm really excited at the prospect of watching it week to week with you guys here, at least for the rest of the season. Well, Hopefully. you better catch up. You better catch up, Sword. Yes, yeah, Sword. You, you better catch up. Riz, you better start. <laughs> By the way, everyone tweet at the E Riz because he doesn't watch Lucha Underground. He needs to watch Lucha Underground. Sword. Sword. 
on the bus ride, wasn't I peeking over your shoulder watching that? <laughs> yeah, but that Riz, doesn't count. Riz, that that doesn't counts. count. That does not count. That counts. First two, first two seasons are on Netflix. I know. They're on Netflix. Just just watch. Just put them on I'm the background. Busy, if, I'm too put, busy watching the, the Art of Painting, The Joy of Painting by Bob Ross. Um. All right. A, you can watch both of those at the same time. In mm-hmm. fact, they might even sync up. You don't know. Maybe. Well, this when is Bob Ross is talking about happy little rainbows, I bet Mil Muertes is making a happy little rainbow of someone's fucking head. The, the, it's the joy of Lucha. Exactly. Which is going to be the title. And I hope that somebody uh, photoshops a Lucha mask on Bob Ross's head. <laughs> he'll, he'll probably just look like Son of Havoc. Exactly. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, him and is it uh, Mil Mascaris um, sitting on a couch flipping off the TV? Uh, that uh, was no, that is Mascarita Sagrada. Mas- yeah, Mascarita Sagrada. That, I'm sorry. Uh, um, I, that's the part I saw, and I just fell in love with that moment. Which which was an ad for Bagel Bites. Yep. Mm-hmm. Totally normal. Totally normal. Also, I love the name of the episode was Open Road to Open Road to Revenge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what it was, Sork. Absolutely. It was an open road to revenge. It, well, I'm in this antip- anticipation because I know some of the things that happened, right? Um, mm-hmm. I was excited. I got to see Sammy Callahan first pop up um, with his girlfriend backstage. And uh, and and that his name's Jeremiah and, and, and everything like that. And he's with Evil like, and then with Evil Lease. What is with Evil Lease and guys getting from, injured? No, no, well, that is that. And guys from Ohio. Um, she chooses poorly. Mm-hmm. Also, second note, I really want to go watch that Tough Enough season. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, once I finish, once Lucha Underground season three is done, I'm going to find that whole first season of Tough Enough with Stone Cold it's and on the watch network. it again. Yeah, I know. So I know, but I don't want I don't want to confuse my Luchas. Especially since so many people are similar, and whether well, hell uh, mostly Lucha, but of course some on 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 Impact, including Chelsea Green. Mm-hmm. Um, so. The best part of that show was she the one that they brought in like halfway through. Yes, and she just kind of like well, no, made herself think, comfortable. No, you're th- you're confusing seasons of Tough Enough. Probably you're confusing season. The season of Tough Enough of Chelsea Green was the one with like Daniel Bryan as a judge. <sighs> Yeah. Oh. The not as good series of Tough Enough. Yeah. The the uh, hey we all Kogan's not a judge anymore because he fucked up. Yeah. The uh, the only person left from that season I think is the Velveteen Dream on NXT because oh, I because I have not seen Mandy Rose in a fortnight. He's the one we were pulling for too, wait. wasn't he? Yeah. Wait, wait. wasn't that, isn't that the one with uh, no wait no. Uh, Silent Rage was uh, no. Awesome. Silent Rage was years ago. Yeah, yeah. Silent Rage was awesome. Yeah, Silent Rage was awesome, and then he fucked up really bad, like really, really bad. What's he doing now, by the way? Uh, he's raging silently. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna look him up. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of now. I'm looking. Now up I'm the... interested. I, I want to see where he's at. I want to see what he's, he's raging doing. silently somewhere. I guarantee he's not wrestling. I'll guarantee Silent you he's not wrestling. Rage. Silent Rage. By the way, Silent Rage is a um, action movie starring uh, Chuck Norris. Of course it is. Chuck Norris, a guest referee for a casket match one time. This is true. Which is weird because, yeah. Okay. Andy Le- Levine. Le- Levine. Andy this- Levine, yeah. Yeah. It's spelled e- L E A V I N E for some reason. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, yeah. wrestling career. <laughs> Why is this only one sentence? It's actually three paragraphs long. Holy shit. Someone really got bored to write that much about Silent Rage. Okay, let's see. The World Wrestling Council he's in? Uh, that doesn't, that's not real. That's not real. It's a wrestling territory in Puerto Rico. 
Okay. Owned oh, by that's Carlos. That's Carlos. Car- owned by Carlos Cologne. Cologne. Cologne? You're mm-hmm. saying Cologne. 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 We're doing the bit from SmackDown if yes, you haven't seen are. SmackDown yet. Yes, we Cologne? Are. Is, no, Cologne. I'm surprised they didn't get the clones. Cologne. And and they oh, said cologne? the clones no, are clones cologne. of each other. <laughs> that's One so of the clones is a cologne of Eamon. That segment is so great when they start talking to each other in their heads and then the day's like, why are you staring at us? <laughs> okay, all right. Um. Uh. So sad news. Uh. He suffered a career-threatening injury to his shoulder and upper arm, which rendered him out of action for nearly nearly a year, returning to the ring in 2015. So he's still wrestling. Supposedly. So he's raging silently somewhere. Okay. I was right. Sure. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, apparently he's the he was the one-time Universal Heavyweight Champion for the WWC. And as well as one-time tag team champion. Ooh, who was his partner? Who was his partner? Samson Walker. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to look him up now. That doesn't that's, sound real. That doesn't that sound does, real that, does, that does not sound like a real wrestler. I bet it was someone else who was on that season of Tough Enough. Samson. I'll Walker. bet money it was someone this else. Is, who was on. This is what we're. This is what we've come to right now. See, wrestling. There's not a lot of news out right now, guys. So we're googling silent rage. So, so um, I, I mean, so why this is one of the reasons is probably on our mind because we we should mention um, Indie Mayhem show. There's a, a Facebook Live of the conversation you can check out. But um, on the Indie Mayhem show, we have Eric Van Magden of Lucha Underground, who <laughs> happened to also work on Legend House and the Stone Cold season of Tough Enough. So, if you're wondering why so many people look familiar from that season of Tough Enough. Now you probably kind of know. Um, and, and as well as he's also worked on The Apprentice, Celebrity Apprentice. We said some very nice, nice things about the president. Um, and uh, so so check that out. That's on. There's going to be on Indie Mayhem show this Thursday uh, coming up. So, so guys, check that out. guys, it's a really fun interview. Oh, absolutely. You, 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 get, you get a lot of insight into a lot of different things. And there's there's something he told us about the uh, this season of Lucha that is a spoiler and I'm not going to say here but holy shit it's exciting it's very it's very a good, exciting it's a fun conversation. So, we get, let's say we, we we actually we got some dirt about tough enough and um and, and, and legends house actually about some of the mm-hmm. stuff behind us so what's up Riz? are you uh, still so Wikipedia I found I found Samson Walker God. uh he actually wrestled Jay Lethal on ROH. Okay. And lost. and lost. Well, obviously. Um, his nickname was Sexy. Sexy Samson. Okay. Uh, and uh, he has the snapshot, the starstruck, and the world's sexiest elbow. Hmm. Okay. And he has Still- done shit. It still doesn't sound real to me. No, it does not. It sounds it sounds like a horrible, horrible. It sounds completely uh, made up. It sounds like a horrible EFED name. Yeah. Speaking of, Alistair Black is still on NXT. <laughs> this is true. I love Alistair Black. Hey guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? All right. Um so guys, I got the, the newest issue of the WWE comic book, uh, with a lovely Asuka action figure cover. Pesca. Um, I learned a lot about Dean Ambrose. I learned a whole lot about Dean Ambrose. In fact, let's see. Th- this this comic has, I'd say, roughly about forty pages or so. This comic has given me more background into Dean Ambrose than his entire career in WWE. And I'm not even joking at all. I wish these things were canon. Because there is so much better storytelling going on in these books than there is on Raw. And I'm not joking in the least. Mm-hmm. So can we take the people who are writing these and put them on the writing team? Please and thank you. Okay. Also, I learned about Cologne. 
No, no, you're saying it wrong. Cologne? Cologne. Cologne. It's cologne. Cologna? C- cologne, no. Remember when we were talking about Eamon and how he looked like a cologne? It's cologne. Yeah, no, he was a clone of a cologne. He is a, cl- he is a clone of clone. But does he wear cologne? Does he wear the cologne from the colognes because he's oh. a clone? Yeah. There's there is no there's no cologne clone. I think there is a cologne clone. His name is Eamon. And he wears cologne. By the clones. Okay, we're done. Okay, we're done. That was it. That was it. Riz, what did you learn this show. week? In the show. Um, so I learned um how surprising and joyful I got to learn that a certain uh action figure wound up in my bag for our trip to New York. Unannounced. Oh, so that wasn't intentional. No, no. no I thought no. you were doing like a flat Stanley deal. No, no. <laughs> like that, that one picture of the great Cully was the only picture of the great Cully that I took because I didn't know what the hell to do with them. Like if I would have done that, I would have taken them everywhere we went and just probably should have. I should have. You should have. You should. You should have set him up on top of the rock, and Fuck. have Kali overlook the entire city. Fuck. Well, and then and then Chachi almost threw him off the cliff. Off the. There he is. There he is. He looks so peaceful. Now he, then then you see my uh, my clothes on top. Um, but yeah, it, that was a fun fun little surprise there, uh, knowing that my my. Cully figure came with me to New York City. Cully Sorg. takes men. Yes. Sorg, what'd you learn this week? The Cully I, apple. I learned that promos are so much better when they're whispered to you. Um, just don't call just, just don't call Gold Dust anything. Also, don't go. Don't tell Gold Dust he's going to retire. He doesn't like that. Um, no, I, I really like. I, I really like the 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 hey Samoa Joe some serious shit. I don't know if he's going to win a title or not, but they're making me believe that he might win a title. <laughs> oh no, he's not winning that title. No, he's not. No, 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 no. I'm happy he's getting the match. I'll be happier if it goes longer than five minutes. But he ain't winning that title, Spork. Mm-mm. Ain't no fucking way. Either way, either way, there Sorry, is. I will give you a thousand Thai bots. No, 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 no. Wait, that's like ten dollars. That's yeah. It's like that's nothing. You know, I'll take it. Um, but 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 you know, it, it, it's the Samoa Joe that I liked against Kurt Angle. Yes. And it's amazing, and he's just a threat, and he's so great. And I can't wait to see what they do with him, Brock, next week. Um, just because I'm him very and scared Hayden. for what they do with him, and Brock, next week. <laughs> oh, and also, I realized that me tweeting about uh, how awesome Sheets is as compared to Wawa has now led me to have a follow by a certain Russian uh, Russian ring announcer. Uh, the parties are. Oh, so, hi, Vlad Radno- Radnov. <sighs> Thank you for joining us. Fairly certain everybody at Jakara listens to the show. Yes, yes, yes. They know about us, Sorg. Um, oh, which also is a good point to uh, plug. Former Chikara wrestler Vin Gerard uh, was on Andy Mayhem show last mm-hmm. week talking about Powerbomb TV. So, shout outs. And they got a show, uh, Break the Barrier, I think, is going to be on Powerbomb TV this Sunday. So, check that yeah, out. Too. Amazing card on there. Oh, it's a crazy card. Yeah. Uh, who was it? Uh, was It's. Uh, it's who, who is Colt Cabana facing? Oh, come on. Uh, Orange. Orange, Orange uh, Cassidy. Orange Cassidy. That's going to be great. Colt um, Cabana versus Orange Cassidy is going to tear down the roof. Joey Janela is going to be on this. He's on Super Indie the day before. Uh, we talked about Deshaun Pratt and uh, Aphidian. Deshaun Pratt mm-hmm. used to be uh, what was his partner's name? Uh, the funky, the funky. Aphidian was. Uh, f- but but Aphidian. he was he was the funky pharaoh. Oh, Barry, no, no, Barian. Uh, oh. I forget what his name was, but yeah, he was in Shikara as well. Uh, 
and now they're feuding against each other, which is well, it, it's uh, well, he talked about like they haven't had a match together, they haven't had a, have a chance to have a match together, mm-hmm. and they just kind of wanted Amasis. This is Amasis, yes. yes. Um, so they wanted just kind of a canvas, and they got it with no strings attached. So this is the kind of stuff they're doing, and there's a lot of promotions attached to it. So just a little deep into, I mean, it's indie wrestling, but it's accessible. Um, it's it's another streaming service with Powerbomb TV. Uh, so I, I just wanted to give uh, give a shout out uh, for for that. Um, so if you're in the area over there in uh, New Jersey, of course, um, or you can watch it live on the service. And there is like a a um, trial as well with the service, so you can check it out and see what they have on there. So there you go. Uh, what did I learn? Oh no, I talked about that with the with the uh, Simone. What did Joe. the chat room learn, Sorg? What did the chat room learn? Um, from the chat room, Ed Burke learned that the Mac is a beer powered fighting robot. Yep, uh, that sounds accurate. Brandon oh. says, "How did Ric Flair break his hand? One Warrior fan down. Apparently, he got he got in a fight with a a, a Warriors fan. In, uh, basketball Alleged- Warriors, allegedly. allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. There is no tape of this, like there is for that." The Ryan brothers almost choke slamming a person. There, it's just Ric Flair's word on what he did. He probably just fell down, like just fell or something, and he wanted to be Ric Flair about it and say, "No, I punched a fan, woo!" and all that stuff. But no, he probably didn't punch anybody. <laughs> I like, I like your impression of what happened. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I, I'm shocked and appalled. That we did not say anything about Space Mountain, about the rides. I, I think figured that, just, that was. I thought that just stood for its own. I mean, really, it does. Really I mean, does. still though. No, but see the thing. The, the, the sorry, space, so when, when, you, when you get into Space Mountain, though, it's just a naked Ric Flair. No, see, Riz. The thing about the WWE Space Mountain, it says oldest ride, longest nine. The the ride is literally just a line. Like there's no actual ride at the end of it, but you don't know that until you've waited online for three and a half hours. No, no, the ride is Ric Flair just standing there, air humping you in the face the entire time. No, it's it. um, it's a cardboard sandy of just repeating the commercials for um, J- for KFC Georgia Gold Chicken. Mm-hmm. Woo, Chris. Man, Mike. Woo. Man, Mike. Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on the internet, Sorg. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's vague. <laughs> you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. You can also find me at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet Lucha Underground and Impact this week, and also the Midweek War will be going on this week. Maybe a little bit later because of hockey, but it will be happening. Let's go, Ben. Yes, let's go, Pens. Um, and if the Pens lose, uh, midweek war will be a very sad and angry affair, except for when, of course, I talk about Lucha Underground because there's no way in the world that can make me unhappy. Riz, where can they find you on the internet? Uh, they can find me on the Riz on the Twitters and as well as Riz Plays Games, where I sometimes play video games. Uh, I might start doing more YouTube videos. I might start doing more Twitches. I'm not sure. I'm still contemplating on this thing. But it's going to happen, so st- stay tuned to your local Riz stations. Sword. You find Sorry. me in Peoria for the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm here for uh, Baja Illinois uh, here in uh, Peoria. So uh, go look for hashtag Baja Illinois and that's Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out Sorgatron on the Instagram. Uh, not wrestling related, but I'll be doing a lot of Instagram stories behind the scenes of uh, all the video shooting and I'll be doing for the week. That's it. That's I'm, it. Right. I'm the that's host. it. We're done. I'm the host, so I'm supposed to close the show, and I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah mayhem, uh, mayhem. Where, 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 where can they email? This is why we need the awesome producer, Missy. Hit me up, good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. I'm, I'm yes. too tired. I, I think I want to brew some of this. this okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. You can find us at good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. You can call in. What's that number? Four one two two zero six WMS zero. And you can also uh, do the Patreon thing. 
Patreon.com. Patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Yes. And uh, follow us on Twitter at mayhem show. Join the Facebook group. It's awesome to be there. Uh, a lot of awesome people are on there. Uh, join us every Tuesday night at live.sorgatronmedia.com or the Facebook group where the Facebook chat is always electric. For Sorgatron, for Mad Mike, I am the Riz. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.